Northern Territory Opposition Leader Leah Fanocchiaro says she'll vote against the proposal to enshrine an Indigenous voice to the Constitution. But she says her party room colleagues will be allowed a free vote on the issue. The country Liberal Party has been divided over the voice to Parliament. In February, the party's rank and file passed a motion to oppose the voice. But parliamentary leader Leah Finocchiaro had remained uncommitted until now. But Australians and Territorians alike are not going to be receiving any greater detail on the voice to Parliament than what has been provided to date. Mrs Finocchiaro says that lack of detail means she will be voting no. I've made my decision based on the fact that I don't believe that this is going to have adequate representation of Territorians or improve the lives of Territorians. The Albanese government says the structure of the voice will be developed after the referendum if it is successful. The only detailed model provided so far is in the report by academics Tom Karma and Marcia Langton. It proposes 24 people on a national voice, but just three of those people would be from the Northern Territory, where about 70,000 Aboriginal people live. The ACT, which has about 7,000 Aboriginal residents, would have two representatives. I'm not willing to risk my vote to support something where there's very little detail and where Territorians might actually end up being disempowered by the voice to Parliament through lack of representation. What I would say to Leah Fanocchiaro is this, that it's certainly disappointing to, to hear her comments this morning uh, in relation to that. And there is still time to, to have that conversation. And I would say to Territorians and to all Australians, uh, that this is a critical moment in our country's history and we can make a positive change here. Conservative leaders across the states and territories are split over the voice. It has the support of Tasmanian Premier Jeremy Rockliffe and New South Wales opposition leader Mark Speakman. But as support for the proposal falls in the polls, others are wavering. The WA Nationals have supported the Uluru Statement that could Good reconsider everybody. that position when they meet this weekend. If there is uh, any uh, over, overturning of that decision, it might be a good. Um, it might well be uh, that it is uh, caused by uh, the Albanese government uh, handling of this situation. Matt Cunningham, Sky News, Darwin.